back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. You guys, today we're going to be doing my weekly check-in number one for the month of February. It's crazy how I'm already saying February. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it if you join my channel. My hands are really, really dry right now. Um, I do have my window open, so if you do hear car noise, street noise, it's because I live close to the road, main road. But anyway, so guys, today I do have a bubbly, and it is the mango flavor. So delicious. All right, I'm going to go ahead and crack this open. You guys, this thing almost slipped out of my hand because <laughs> my hands are so slippery from the lotion I just put on. Okay, so I'm gonna put my wallet to the side for now and then we're gonna open up to my February calendar. For those that are new, um, I use the Plum Paper Monthly Planner. So this is my February layout. All right, so as you see here, I have not laid down any stickers. We're going to be checking in from the 30th of January until the 5th of February. All right. And for those that are new, I always say this because this is what I use. Um, I use the budget by paycheck workbook from the budget mom. This is where I track all of my spending, my budget with me. I also track my activity out of my checking account. All right. So I'm going to keep this off to the side. That way I know what days to lay down the stickers. And just so you know, I color coordinate everything. So that way I know um, which categories to pull the money from. So I am a cash spender, but what I do is I um, don't spend actual cash at the stores. I swipe my card for reward points and then I pay myself back. Every week or every two weeks I pay off my credit card. That way um, no interest accrues and um, I, I'm still able to get rewards and still use my cash at the same time. All right, so let's just see. My first spending is gonna be 31st. I went to Publix and I got um, some lunch there and I also got some compra items. So for lunch, I spent $9.54. So I'm just gonna lay this sticker down. Hopefully it's not crooked because these stickers are really hard to lift once I've laid them down. And then um, I also went to uh, Trader Joe's that day after work. So I'm going to combine Publix and Trader Joe's in one sticker. And it's going to be this cute little cart. And these are from Suns and Roses. I spent $102.32 from both stores. Okay. On the first, I bought some earrings off of Amazon and I used my spending money. That was $7.51. On the 4th, which was Friday, I went out to lunch with an old co-worker. So that was, um, oh, crap. I swapped the, okay, so I swapped the amounts. Actually, this amount here was what I spent on Monday. And these stickers are not coming off of this paper. Like, what in the heck? It's ripping it. All right, hold on. Okay, so this seven. So this seven seventy four actually is not that amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so Monday I spent $7.74 and then Friday I spent $9.54. And then also on Friday I went to Trader Joe's and I spent $29.05. Okay, so that is it. That was my spending. So I have one, two, three, four no spend days. I am waiting from, uh, from some stickers from 
a shop that she wants me to test out her no spends so I'm not gonna lay down anything because I would like my no spends to match for the month so I'll put those down next week and if for some reason I don't get them next week then um, I'll use another one and then for the following two weeks if I have any spend days I'll use her stickers all right so now we're gonna calculate my spending and then put it in my weekly check-in the first one up is eating out so there is two transactions 774 plus Okay, so now that my weekly check-in is complete, I'm gonna go ahead, pull out the cash tray and my wallet so we can unstuff my cash envelopes. There was no sinking fund spending this week, so I have nothing to pull from those envelopes. So it's just strictly gonna be um, these four categories, okay? Okay, so let's pull out my wallet and my cash envelopes from my wallet. And these here are from Daisy Budgets. Her Instagram is listed down below if you wanted to order some of these. Okay, so eating out, we're gonna take out 33. No, we're gonna take out 17. That's 10, 15, 16, 17. Eating out should now have $33 left. That's 20, 31, 32, and 33. Okay, spending needs to take out eight from spending. That's five, six, seven, eight. Spending should have 72. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 71, and 72. So compra, I spent 131. I think I need to get $9 back if I put $140 down. Yep. So 
So compra should have 19. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so that is it for my cash wallet. Now we're gonna pull out my um, gas. Okay, and it is in this binder right here. I'm gonna just try not to blind you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna take out $21 out of the gas envelope. Okay, so that's 1021. And gas should have 59. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, um, I normally have that other um, little spread, but since be since I have no sinking funds, I'm just gonna tally it up here. Let's tally up these totals to see how much we should have in the stack right here. Okay, I should have 177. That's 50, 120, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, and 77. And that is correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my um, Fidelity envelope right here. So I can deposit this into my account so I can pay the credit card. All right, you guys, that is the end of my video. I wanna thank you so much if you made it this far. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. I hope everyone is having an amazing week in February, and I hope everyone's sticking to their budget. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You guys have an amazing morning, day or night whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.